All right, what are we up to? So last time we were doing the loop around this place before going to the cafe, I think. Hoping to find if there's any more puzzles hiding about. Let's check these people real quick. Oh, there's one. Why aren't the two of you... My! Aren't the two of you late, uh, up late playing detective? If you like solving mysteries so much, do me a favor and help me with the puzzle, would you? You're up late. Puzzle. When you weren't looking, someone came by and gobbled up your fish dinner. The three brothers near the scene of this dastardly crime had this to say. Me? Oh, yeah. I ate it. It was good, too. I saw A eat that fish right up. B and I didn't eat that fish. One of these three brothers is lying to you, but which one is it? Uh... Hmm. One of you is lying. So A is saying that he ate the fish. B is saying that he saw A eat the fish, so those do not contradict each other. And C says that B and I did not eat the fish. Which also does not contradict the original narrative. When you weren't looking, someone came by and gobbled up your fish dinner. The three brothers near the cat, the scene of the death of the crime had this to say. All of their... none of the things they say contradict each other. What is the, what is the problem to resolve? <laughs> Me? Oh yeah, I ate it. It was good, too. They all say I. Am I supposed to, is this a trick question where I is another person? Because they keep saying A, B, C. So one person is saying that the, the, the person I ate it. The person is saying that, that I saw A eat it. And another person says B and I didn't eat it. Is that the trick? In which case, the two you could group together is that I, I, if I saw A eat the fish, then B and I did not eat the fish. So A is the liar? I'm, this is extremely tenuous logic, but I don't understand the, que the question otherwise, I don't think. Smile! Oh, fuck. Remember, you're looking for the liar in the bunch, not the person who ate your fish. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand this question. Whoa! Whoa! What am I missing? So A says that A ate it. B says that A ate it. C says that B and I that B and C did not eat it. At one stage, I was thinking the lie might even be when A says it was good. It's actually a bad fish. Puh. <laughs> Am I crazy or do all those check out? I know that they like to do trick questions, so I guess I'm just not seeing what the trick is. B and I didn't eat the fish? Okay, let's hear the explanation, I guess. The liar here is C. A and C split your dinner and each ate half. The answer becomes clear when you realize that if A is lying, B must be lying as well. The same happens if you t assume that B is the liar. Therefore, the only, po the only possible answer is that C is lying, a snare that only works if C actually did eat some of the fish. I guess? I just, it feels... I don't know, these, these questions feel more correct when there's like a contradiction to resolve. 
in that their statements don't line up. But all of them could have been true. We just have the assumption that someone's lying. What if they were just all telling the truth? Like... The- the pre- I feel like they- they betrayed the premise of that question. Because the premise of that kind of question is that people- Two or three different people tell you a story, and then those stories contradict each other. And so then you're like, oh, fuck. Okay, so one of these people's lying. Which one is it? Instead, they're- they told- they all told us a story where all of them could be true. But we, the omniscient question man, somehow knows one of them is lying, and we have to figure out which one's lying. So we know just enough to magically know someone's lying, but not enough to know who's lying. It's just like, it's very strange. The world in which that question exists is hard to understand. Well, you took care of that one in a hurry, didn't you? And here I thought you were just another well-dressed city slicker. Hmm, you showed me. I guessed it wrong, and then I had a 50-50 chance at that point. <laughs> Well, I believe one good turn deserves another, so why not let me take another look, look at your fortune? Oh, this isn't good. I see a series of inauspicious events occurring during your stay at Mount Myst Saint Mystery. Watch your step. Give the child a TV to run his brain. As long as you remain in state mystery, each day will be plagued with a heavy, unshakable sadness. Well, good luck toughing it out. <laughs> oh. I run a fresh meat stand in the market by day. Come see me and I'll cut you a deal of tenderloin that'll make your mouth water. And then somebody else will eat it and they'll be like, wow, who did that? Hello? Oh, fancy meeting you here. I've got a doozy of a puzzle right now. It's harder to crack than a coconut. And who knows, it might even have something to do with the case you're investigating right now. So what do you say? Help a fellow detective out, will you, brother? That's all very interesting, but I do believe there's been a mistake here. I am no detective, you see. Say no more. Undercover and all that, yes? Very well. But I know a fellow sleuth when I see one. Us being in the same trade and all, I suppose it couldn't hurt if I let you have a look at this puzzle. You're a little too trusting. Wow. <laughs> Looking like a Chucky doll. A certain town has only two barbers in it. There aren't any other towns nearby, so everyone who lives there gets their hair cut by one of these two stylists. Looking at these two fine gentlemen, which one should you go to for a haircut? A. Because the other guy cut his hair. That's the trick. How does this sound? Like, the guy with the bad haircut isn't at fault, it's the other guy who did it to him. Boom. Ho oh ho! You've done it! You've solved the mon that monster of riddle! Simply astounding, even I couldn't do it. Really? Okay. Oh, it wasn't that difficult. But on a more important subject, have you heard a word of Ramon lately? What's that you say, good sir? You want to solve more puzzles? All right, then, then here's a gem of, of a tip. Go visit Granny Riddleson's shack, that's all I can say. My detective's instinct tells me that another case is developing as we speak. I must take my leave now, but perhaps I'll see you again tomorrow. You got a painting scrap. Painting scrap. Nope, no, it doesn't fit there either. Hmm. I don't think we quite have the right chunks for this to make sense. Maybe? That's a bit iffy, though.
Hmm. That could be it. It's also starting to look like it's all upside down. I'm gonna have to flip the entire image. Oops. I always have to, like, second guess which button even leaves that screen safely without quitting or something. Hint coin. Oh. Professor, there's a puzzle hidden over here. On the top row of the picture shown below, you have three cups of juice followed by three empty cups. Your objective is to change things around so the cups are arranged as shown in the bottom row of the picture. Assuming you assuming you can only move one cup at a time, and that all rearrangements have to be done by hand, how many cups will you have to pick up? One. You pick this one up and pour it into that one. That's the trick, right? <laughs> They're like, oh, you gotta switch these two. Well, nope, the answer's not two. It's actually one, because you can just pour the water. <laughs> yep. They always smile before the actual ending. It's the thing I said. I'm so smart, look at me go. Easy, let's go find more puzzles. Something slightly deranged about this. the approach to this. Puzzles! We need more puzzles! Put them in my veins! Oh there. Never seen your mug in here before. What would it be, pal? Oh, I'm not ordering anything. I actually just came by to inquire about a certain matter. <laughs> not here for the special then, huh? Well, what do you want to know? No one here. Uh, no one has seen or heard from Raymond. Raymond. The servant at Reinhold Manor since this afternoon. We've looked about everywhere, to no avail. It's like he simply vanished from St. Mystere. While talking with Crouton earlier, he mentioned a strange old man who said to look around the village. Do you perchance know anything about such an individual? An old man? Oh right, that old rumor. So you have heard of him before. If you have any information, please. Uh, anything at all, please share it with us. Hmm. <clears throat> You're not from here, are you? Thing is, I can't have you spreading crazy rumors around Saint Myst uh, Saint Mystery to the outside world now, can I? Of course, if you're a puzzle lover, and maybe, just maybe, I could find it in me to trust you. Whoa! I see you solved thirty puzzles somehow. All right, then here's an ear earful for you. I know a fella who swears up and down he saw a strange old geezer skittering around town. The fellow I know is Prosciutto. He's a wee one, and he's got the appetite of a wolverine. Do you know where he might find this Prosciutto? Can't say for sure, but at this hour, he, well, he's probably at the home snacking on something. Like a Prosciutto. His, his house is on the road that winds up north from here. Why don't you go and pay him a, that walking ice box a visit? Okie dokie. North, north of here, you say. Well, there are multiple options of where that can mean. Oh! I think I found the prosciutto man. Get coin. Puzzle. What is that? Oh, that's, that's meat. Look! It's a hidden puzzle! Tetrahe tetrahedron trial. The image below is a tetrahedron that has been disassembled so that each of its four faces lie flat. Which of the triangles should you insert in the place of the ble so that the tetrahedron is put together? Both the red and blue lines continue unbroken from one face to the next. Okay, so one of these fits into this. Okay. A little brain breaky. Hmm. So there's two red lines that are about this far apart. So not not these two. All right. So I can cancel these two out. There's these two lines. Like, like here, you can see them here. 
And you can see them here. But they don't exist on this one. They're too close together here. And that's the only side that there's two of them. And then this one, there's two, there's two, but the blue line doesn't cut between them. It's out, it's on, it's the same point as one of them, but this blue line is between these two. So it's one of these two. It's a good start. Rotating this to be that line. The blue line should be on the right side. Because that's the side it meets up with on here. So on, on it's this side is the connecting point, so this would be the point that's going to be here, and there should be a red, then a blue, so it's, it's C. How does this sound? Look at me go! Solving puzzles at light speed except for the one that we don't talk about anymore. Done! Let's go find more puzzles! Oopsie. What did that have to do with the hams? Hey, what do you want? Start John so I can get back to dinner. I don't wear shoes. <laughs> Thanks for your input. I heard from a fellow at the cafe that you witnessed a strange old man prowling about town. Could I ask you for a more detailed account of what you saw? Ah, okay, chom chom om nom nom. Horrible mouth sounds will spare you that. I think it was something like four days ago. I was on my way home from the market when I saw this creepy guy sneaking around. So I take a closer look, right? I wanted to make sure he didn't clean up the butcher before I got there. Up close, it was some spooky old guy with a huge gobble snarf sack. Chomp, chomp. Oh, he's eating. That's gobble snarf is a sound. Is automatopoeia maybe? Is gobble an automatopoeia? It is for a turkey. I don't think people make a sound that sounds like gobble. I yelled at him, but the geese are just bolted. And I was like, man, look, look at that Gramps bust a move. <laughs> what? <laughs> I think that weird was one of the one who's been kidnapping people. If you gotta be out at night, watch yourself, you hear? Interesting. I'm shocked that wasn't a puzzle, but now it will. No? Hey, what do you want? Is it... Oh, we asked about Raymond, and he said, I, uh, uh, It's hard to miss him with those purple lips, but I ain't seen him nowhere. <sighs> oh, gosh. Sorry, Professor. It's not the investigation is is that the investigation's boring me or anything. It's just I'm a little sleepy. It's gotten late. Let's report our findings to everyone at the mansion and wrap things up for the day. Whoa! Professor, look over there! Oh my gosh, is that Raymond? <gasps> oh, oh. Luke, mm -hmm. so huh? hold it there! Right behind you! Oh no! We've lost him! This town's just having an extremely normal one right now. Luke, you saw that too, didn't you? No doubt about it, that was Raymond. Does that mean the kidnapper killed Raymond too? Ah! Steady there, Luke. I think we'd do well to return to the site of Raymond's abduction. The kidnapper may have left a clue behind, you see. Right! Lead on, Professor! Well, what, what, oh, they're transitioning between spaces. We need to go sweep the site of Raymond's abduction for clues. You're absolutely right, Professor. Professor, look at this. An evil gear. This appears to be identical to the item recovered from the crime scene at Reinhold Manor. 
Do you think it might help us find who's responsible for both crimes? Perhaps. At any rate, our first priority is to head and report our findings to Lady Dahlia. Come, Luke. Back to the manor. Normally you get the purple lips after you're dead, but he had them before us. If he is dead, and not just somebody's running away with a body like, Woohoo, look at me go! I like to steal sleeping people, it's fun! Good cardio. Chapter 4, Chapter Solved. After witnessing Raymond's abduction, the professor and Luke returned to the manor to report their findings. We have urgent news. Raymond has been abducted. What? Who? How? I must inform the madam at once. Madam, something terrible has happened. So are you saying that Ramon has been involved in some kind of foul play? No. We can't be sure of that yet. However, time is of the essence. We must organize a search to locate him post-haste. Mr. Layton, what's the meaning of all this? Why do you insist on whipping the town up into a frenzy? The situation has changed recently, Inspector. We saw Ra Raymond being abducted in town. I'm afraid you must you may have a serial murder case on your hands. We must rally the people of Saint Mystery and organize a search. Mr. Layton, last time I checked, this was my case, not yours. It's too late to start looking tonight. We'll organize a search first thing in the morning. We've no time to debate whether or not to wake a few sleepy villagers. While we sit here bickering, poor Raymond may already be... Uh, everyone, your attention, please! Honestly, Matthew, can't you see we're busy right now? What is it? Uh, my sincerest apologies, madam, but it's it's Raven. He's... he's returned. Returned? But... Yes, a after the professor honored us with a visit, I went to the market to do the shopping. Why do you ask? Just what is going on here? There you have it, Leighton. <clears throat> now, will you finally leave the detective work to the detective? But we saw it! We saw it happen right before our eyes! Raymond, don't you remember any of this? That's enough, Luke. No, but... no, he was... I must apologize, Inspector Chelmy. It was dark out, and it seems that I was mistaken in what I saw. Now, if you'll excuse us, it's been a very long day, and I do believe we should... we could all use a little rest. Hmm. <laughs> I certainly agree. The last thing I need is some drowsy scholar creating a panic in the village. Well, good night to you all then. Some kind of conspiracy or whatnot appears to be going on. Some hot nonsense. No matter how I try, I just can't find that special someone. Tell me, Professor, what does an eligible bachelor like myself have to do to find a girl? I had an epiphany the other day. I think the reason I'm alone is because I can't solve this puzzle. Oh, how I've tried to solve it, but no matter how many nights I spend pondering it, the answer eludes me. Please help me, Professor. I don't want to spend the rest of my life talking to, st to my stuffed animals. Forty. If you want to cut the piece of paper shown in Diagram 1 into two pieces, then reassemble them to form a rectangle, all you have to do is cut the paper as shown in Diagram 2. However, in order to assemble the pieces as shown in Diagram 2, you need to flip one of the pieces over before putting them together. Where should I, you cut the paper if you want to turn the, the paper in Diagram 1 into a rectangle without flipping either of the pieces? Okay. <clears throat> hmm. So yeah, there's the flippy spot. Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. It's right here. 
Submit. That should do it. Because it would rotate sideways into the spot. <clears throat> KO. Perfect. Yep, does it does that goes into like that. There you go. Oh joy, I'm positively tingling with excitement. With the pu the puzzle solved, I'm sure I'll find it bright in no time. Okay. <laughs> Normal interaction. Look at me, sir. My shoes cost uh, cost a month's lodging, yet no one wants to marry this handsome rich bachelor. What am I doing wrong? Do tell me the truth, Professor. Is it my... Is it my hat? Oh. Oh, no. Not the hat. Dr. Chelmy and Madame have already retired for the night. Raymond is likely off to the cafe. You've had a very hard day, Professor. Do try and get some rest. Good, good night, sir. Okie dokie. Or will we? I wonder if we really did just mistake what we saw on the street. No, I am certain it was Raymond. When we saw him, there wasn't the slightest hint of life in him. He may have lost consciousness, but how odd that he should return healthy as can be an hour later. Stranger still, an hour later? How long did it take to get here? Stranger still is the fact that he seems to have no memory of what we saw happen to him. It's so peculiar. Plus, Raymond wasn't even the first. Lots of people seem to have had the same experience. Any other village would be in a panic over something like this, but St. Mystery... Well, it's peculiar is all. There is something very peculiar about this whole town. Yes, in most places, no one would stand for this. But we've seen that St. Mystery is anything but normal. So many mysteries being added. Have any of these been resolved? Puzzle sent to Granny Rilton's shack. Find a star. I missed one. Ugh. Good morning. I guess we skipped right to it. Didn't even have to head back. Yes. Yes. Uh, don't worry. Don't you worry. I'll let him know. Oh, hello there. There was a phone call for you. It was from uh, Inspector Che something or other. From Inspector Chelmy. He just kept saying that it was urgent and that you need to meet him at Reinhold Manor at once. You sure want to see me a lot for somebody that says I'm not part of the investigation. He probably wants to talk about what happened yesterday. Maybe so. We won't know until we get there, though. Come, Luke. I'm going to rearrange our house first. Furniture is more important than Chalmy. <clears throat> Neat, I tell you, I wonder if it still works. Television. That's nice, but I prefer a good book myself. Well then... Actually, there's not that much more new stuff, is there? Uh, a giant teddy bear. Hello there, Mr. Bear! <laughs> hmm. How many mysteries are currently stacked? My god. There's a lot of mysteries. It might be all of them, though? Raymond's one of the last ones, kind of. They'll all come together sooner or later. Don't look at my time plate, I let this game run sometimes. There you are, Professor. Would you help a girl out? I've got something here I'd like you to look at. I made this darling sandwich for my special lunchbox, but the silly thing is too big. Can you make it fit? Now yeah, this isn't a puzzle, you just eat the sandwich. What the fuck? How did you do that? How did you make it like that in the first place? The fuck? Using scraps left over from your breakfast, you mangled to get, you managed to cobble together a rather oddly shaped sandwich. How many times must you cut the sandwich in order to make it fit cleanly in the container? Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. Eh. 
pretty sure if you cut it here, that you could fit this end on that end, and it'd be long lengthwise. So zero, one. There we go. Smile for me. He did the smile. Is it gonna show exactly? It shows exactly what I said. Look at me go. I nailed it immediately. Getting faster with some of these. Oh, Professor, you're just the cleverest. Thank you for helping me figure this out. Here's a chair, Layton, I guess. I feel like there isn't really a puzzle on how to make them happy until I have enough anyway, so... Until then, it just really doesn't matter who has what. <laughs> Looks like you fellows are getting used to Saint Mystery. But stay sharp. And believe you and me, you'll be buried in all the sorts of difficult puzzles before you can say stash and scarfing. Uh, but by now, I'm sure you realize that you can retry puzzles you fail to solve, eh? However, you've noticed how some puzzles just seem to vanish before you can get back to them? That's right, you see. The way it is, some things in life, once they're gone, they're gone. For good. But rest, but rest at ease, you two. Those puzzles you vanished and merely moved elsewhere into the grand just shack is re-explained the same thing. Yeah, okay. This has been repeatedly explained, like, a lot of times. It's a lazy guard. The local museum has an exhibit that spans nine rooms, as shown in the diagram below. The entrance to the complex is marked by A, and the exit is marked by B. The security guard on duty is a bit of a loafer and wants to walk each room of the exhibit while turning as few times as possible. What's the fewest number of turns he can make while still visiting every room? As an example, the diagram below shows a course that involves six turns. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. So the challenge is to make fewer turns than six. And he still has to visit every room, so that is accounted for. They don't trick me by uh, letting me just not look at all the rooms. So it seems obvious just to go forward until you hit a wall. Then if you turn... If you go this way, then turn one, two, three, four, five, six. So you end up with the same number because it's just the same route flipped. But you can't go down the lines in one fell swoop each. Hmm. Because if you do that, uh, you end up coming. You end up bringing the wall on the right. Hmm. One. Two, Because there's no rule against overlapping your path. But six is fairly efficient already. I will be frustrated if the answer is what they showed me. Like I'm, I'm, I'm taking the implication that there is an easier... There's a more efficient path than what I'm being shown in the example. <clears throat> hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> uh. 
fewest number of turns you can make while visiting every room. I don't think there's a trick in the question. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just sitting here staring at this thing. I don't... I don't see a better path. I'm gonna just, just see if six is the answer and if they're fucking with me. There we go. Nope. Okay. At least I can, I can stop thinking that. <clears throat> the puzzle shows you an example on purpose. Sometimes seeing an example keeps people from thinking creatively. creatively. Don't get stuck in a rut. Now you're just calling me out. This is a personal attack. Do you not actually have to go from A to B, or something? Like, I'm just thinking, like... <clears throat> like, in the middle of the screen, there's one that doesn't have an, uh... Like, there's this exit here, or entrance. Do I, Does A and B not matter? Can I come in and out of any of the ones I want to? Start and stop in the same place, maybe? Any number of messes. They've got to be screwing with me here. Can you go diagonally? Well, there's these plus signs are in the way. Index card, let's see. Now you could line it up. You can just barely line it up to go through here. Which that one path covers that, 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 that. Then here, then that, 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 that. So, one, two turns. A really awkward angle. That should do it. Yeah. The trick is that they mislead you with the example into thinking you have to move it. Yep, the trick into thinking you have to work at right, walk at right angles. <laughs> now that's what I like to see. Seems the training I've been giving you has paid off. No, no need to thank me. Anywho, be seeing you around. Here's a desk or whatever. <laughs> if you really want to understand Saint Mystery, you'll need to search the village thoroughly. Good luck, fellows, you'll need it. Oh, I'll search. <laughs> 